Okay, in today's video, I wanted to talk about ENS and ESI because I did mention that the puppies are going to be done with that in a couple days in my last video. And that is um, the, our exercises that we do from days 3 to 16 of the puppies. And ENS is early neurological stimulation and ESI is early scent introduction. So for ENS, the early neurological stimulation, it's five exercises that are performed for three to five seconds and they are tactile stimulation, which is um, between the toes. So you can either just rub in between their toes and you do that for all the feet for three to five seconds. Or I did order a kit that was for an ESI kit and it also was an ENS kit, so it had some other stuff in it, but you could just use this little thing to tickle in between their toes. I personally just do it with my fingers. Um, then the second exercise is head held erect. So we just stand them up with their head pointing up, and that is that exercise for three to five seconds. Now the next one is head pointed down, so you hold them upside down. They don't really like it, but it's a really short thing, and then it's over. Supine's position, so on their back. It's okay, Mr. Red. It's okay. And then thermal stimulation. So this, where you just grab an ice pack, just like this, and then on their feet, just three to five seconds, and then I switch to the front feet, and three to five seconds. And that is the ENS. For the ESI, um, it's where you expose them to a different pungent scent each day, and then you let them smell the item, and then you chart the reaction, whether it's positive, neutral, or negative. Um, so what I did is I ordered this kit and it's an early scent introduction kit, and it does come with the little stim the tactile stimulation thing I showed you, a couple of ice packs, the instructions and stuff, but it has all the individual scents in their containers already. So that was definitely super helpful, and I ordered that off of Etsy from, it's from Doodles of Mania, Doodle Mania. And so that's been super helpful. And so we just go ahead and get our scent for today. And today's scent, because they are two weeks old, 14 days, is leather. So we'll just take Mr. Red here because we already did his ENS. We'll just let him smell it. And he's kind of pulling away, so I would call that a negative reaction. Okay, so the benefits of the ENS is improved cardiovascular performance, which would be their heart rate, stronger heartbeats, stronger adrenal glands, more tolerance to stress, and greater resistance to disease. Some things that you want to note about that is that you don't want to repeat it more than once a day. You don't want to extend the exercises past the five seconds. And if a puppy is struggling to thrive, you can skip it for the day or for multiple days. You don't want to do, put any undue stress onto a puppy that's already not thriving. Um, with the early scent introduction, it... Um, benefits would be nose awareness and confidence. It's great for hunting, tracking, and diabetic alert dogs, just to name a few. And you just use scents that are found in the environment. Spices and herbs are great. Um, so you don't want to use any scents that would entice taste buds. We want the nose to be activated, not their taste buds. But I just wanted to let you guys know some information on that. Just so that if anybody was wondering about in my last video when I mentioned ENS or ESI, they just now are clarified on what that is. But I'll stop this video so that it's not too long, and then I'll do everybody else's ENS and ESI. And if you liked today's video, please go ahead and give it a like. And if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate that. And if you did hear any noises in our channel, that would just be my daughter. Hope we don't mind. And we'll see you guys next time.